and welcome to my YouTube channel, Impatient Gardener. I call myself that because when things just don't grow fast enough, I tend to just start throwing seeds everywhere. This year I am, I spread myself way too thin. I built this garden last year, at the end of the year. I had some trees cut down so I had plenty of stumps which I line the outside of the garden with because they'll decay and they'll feed the garden but also I dug two feet down from the bottom of the stumps I buried more wood I put on top of that some green grass cuttings uh, things I had left over from my garden and on top of that I put some shredded newspaper more wood if, when I, if I had some and then I covered it with compost and then some soil it's all organic. Uh, it turned out okay, but I'm still not getting the sun that I need. I still have one tree, as you can see. I'll cut one down there. I still have this big silver maple. It's blocking a lot of sun. Cut this one dead ash tree from the ash borer. And I still have this locust tree over here that blocks a lot of morning sun. So, to cut or not to cut down trees. I'm just at least going to have them trimmed in the springtime. Uh, this is just an area that I got tired of cutting, so I threw down some compost from our local, uh, our town supplies compost for the growing season. And I just grew some flowers through flower seeds, cosmos, and whatnot, whatever I had. Interesting thing that did happen was that I had some in or, or some organic dried beans that had been sitting in my cupboard for two or three years and they weren't getting used so I planted them and they grew. So now I've got a lot of varieties. They didn't grow very big. I mean I did this kind of late, maybe at the end of July. But I'm getting some beans. Um, this is going to be a nice just a perennial garden, wildflowers, and just about a little bit of everything back here. My tomatoes are not ripening yet. They're just starting to. I planted all these from seed. I got yellow tomatoes, plum tomatoes, red tomatoes. Got kale, first year artichokes. This garden does not really have to be watered because of the reservoir system underneath it where the water gets trapped with the wood got lettuce. I'm letting a lot of things go to seed right now. Uh, carrots, chard, a nice variety, but it's got to be bigger next year. Had two corn stalks come up, that was it. But this was my attempt at having a nice trellis to grow squash and beans on. It got so diseased so quickly and so early that I couldn't fight it off. So this year, which one of my projects is with Cleome, I'm gonna I planted, I actually threw seed all over this and gonna use it as a green manure because I found research articles that show that the Cleome species does kill a lot of uh, fungus and diseases in the soil. Uh oh my little dog's been digging. We have a new little puppy in the house. What he's digging for, who would know? I did get quite a few squash. I've got some, well, there's some yellow tomatoes. This came back naturally from last year. I love yellow tomatoes, especially dried. And acorn squash. Oh, that was my phone. That radish is going to seed. And all you do with these is just let them keep growing. Once they dry out, you pick these off, save them in you know, a nice dry container, and plant them next year. This was a new garden also, but it's still, it gets way too much water. It runs down a hill here.
but there's always next year. You can see my squash. I've tried just about everything on this. It keeps coming back. I mean, it's doing okay for September. I mean, it's still not dead. I've got some nice squash growing. Two of them down there. I mean, this one's still, this one's done for. But there's a nice acorn squash at the bottom down there. Next year. Thanks for watching.